Hi, this is Scott Pekarik with Verde Real Estate Group with today's home buyer tip. With me today is Brian Thompson with NRL Mortgage. How you doing, Brian? I'm doing great. Thanks. How awesome. About you? Uh, I'm doing fantastic. So today's topic is one that sends a shiver down my spine. It's <laughs> what do you do when a home appraisal comes in low? And just kind of to, to back up a little bit, Brian, what is the appraisal in the home buying process? After you get a purchase agreement, you're you're qualified. You go out shopping with a great real estate agent, and then you write a purchase agreement. You order an appraisal. It's a it's a um, form of value to make sure the property is worth a certain amount of value or, or as much as you're paying for it. And that's ordered by the lender and that goes into a pool of appraisers. Yep, and, and a third party. So the lender really yep. just orders it. They have nothing to do with it. And then that appraisal comes back and it gives you an idea of um, what kind of value you're looking at. And that's if that comes in low, it's a huge piece of your project. Right, right. So... So say the appraisal comes in low. I'm buying a house for three hundred thousand dollars. It comes in at two ninety, and I've had this happen. So it's you know, as a as a real estate agent, what do you recommend people do? It's more common than you think. Um, there's multiple options. Obviously, as the real estate agent, you know this. You can renegotiate. You can, as the buyer, pay the difference, which is never fun. And the seller certainly doesn't want to renegotiate and pay that either. Right. Or you can use up to 110% of that appraised value and actually get a couple of new items or updated items in your house and be just fine. Where the buyer doesn't have to pay that 10000 the seller doesn't have to pay the difference. You're buying the house at full price and maybe getting some new countertops. Interesting. So you would basically negotiate upgrades with the seller. You actually don't even need to do that. Really? You, there's no negotiating involved. We take that low appraisal. We incorporate it into a, a mortgage product that we have. Okay. That allows you to build into those. Um, uh, you just have to get a bid for whatever project it is, maybe carpet, countertops. So kind of like a mini rehab loan or mini, rehab. mini improvement loan. If and you will. it could be as little as $1,000 in rehab projects. Interesting. So it saves the deal. Well, I tell you that's um, that that's a great solution because in my experience, uh, you know, and, and every every deal is subjective, but you know, sellers rarely want to come down on a negotiated price. Buyers typically don't want to come up or can't in a lot of cases. And you know, one of the the devices we used to have was you challenge the appraiser's value and hope that they'd adjust it, and that rarely worked. Right. So this gives right. us uh, another option, a fourth option, if you will, that can really satisfy the wants and needs of everyone. Well, not only that, but if you started this file as an FHA file, which is a form of government financing, that appraisal sticks on that property for 180 days. Right. So if Six it comes in too. low, that seller is stuck with that as long as the, the all the buyers are coming through FHA. Now they don't And have I've had to. that happen too. That was it's, that's it's, that's fun. It's a solution. Not really. yeah. It's a solution to the problem. Everybody's happy. Sellers walking away with with top dollar, buyers getting the house that they want and a possible, you know, updated whatever. Right. And, and there's some cases where the buyer, you may want to make up the difference. You might know you're getting a great deal, right? And the sure. seller might be motivated to say, no, let's just get this done. There might be cases where the seller's like, no, I want to move. I've got a sale that's, con you know, contingent upon this one closing. So um, if people want to learn more about this or any other programs, how do they get a hold of you, Brian? They can get a hold of me by texting or calling at 763-442-1232 or emailing brian.thompson at nrlmortgage.com. Awesome. And I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group. If you want to get a hold of us, it's 612-600-8888, 612-600-8888. Call or text. We hope this content has been valuable. And like always, if we could be of further service, please let us know. Thank you.